Uša. Uša. The reason why all these boxes are opened is because I just recorded Mail Day Wednesday and my microphone battery died uh, about two minutes in. So last week we had the out of focus camera, which that should be fixed now because I've checked and rechecked and positioned stuff to make sure it's clear. So that should be fine. If not, I'm not gonna fix it. Um, this week, my, uh, my lab microphone um, batteries died. Now, if you ask yourself, how can you not notice of all these things? Well, it's very simple. Truth is the lens that is on my camera is the stock lens. Uh, in order to show this at that depth or depth of field, um, it's, it's, it's like three meters away. And um, so I, I can barely see anything that's on the screen. I don't have a monitor set up yet, so yay. But alas, um, I've decided I'm gonna go through all the boxes again because you guys need to see what I received. Now, before that, I had mentioned in my previous recording that, uh, as you've noticed, I didn't upload anything for the past week. There is a very specific reason. Actually, there are several reasons, uh, mainly uh, this, uh, this, 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 and this. There's also this and this. So a lot of things have been happening in the background. I've been uh, working on quite a few projects at the same time, mainly because one, I'm testing some unreleased filament. So that's why I did the birdhouses. Quite a few projects which are going to sort of expand the channel a bit, make it grow in a kind of awesome way. Uh, I can't tell you too much because, well, I'm gonna leave that for other videos, but expect awesome things. So for now, we're gonna go through all the boxes once again. Um, seven boxes, which by my calculations, that leaves another 23 pieces left to arrive. Um, I know one of them is on the way, that's 22. For those 22, um, expect an email from me shortly. So we're gonna start off with the first box here. Um, most of the boxes were from America. So this one is from, I can't remember, wait, hold on, hold on, Sean Eddie. Sean made sure to tell me that he couldn't find an envelope, which is completely fine. I have quite a few spare. Hey Joe, this is Sean Eddie from Coventry, Rhode Island, USA. I'm so happy you've given me the chance to participate in something so collaborative and international. I started my 3D printing journey around the same time you did. I convinced my employer to get a 3D printer for prototypes, so part of my job was 3D printing. It was the best job I'd ever had up until that point. I moved on to other things within manufacturing, but I wound up buying my own 3D printer to make the small props. This is part 55 and it was printed on my CR10 using settings you've suggested. There was a bit of lifting, but I have run out of time to print another one. Not a problem because lifts is usually at the bottom and that will be visible. And closed you will find the part along with some other goodies that can be shared with your family. The one thing I don't suggest sharing is the Jim Beam bourbon. Long story short, I saw a little glint in your eye during another unboxing. I, I had the same laugh the first time I read this and it's, it's still there. Um, when you thought you saw liquor. I also thought it would be good to share my coping mechanism that I used to ignore a certain Oompa Loompa filling space in our presidential Oval Office. <laughs> Peace and long life, Sean Eddy. Uh, that was awesome. So the part is part 55 in red. The lifting is, is minimal. It's really not an issue. It can still be used. And Sean sent me some, some interesting goodies. So very importantly, we have Jim Beam. I don't do whiskey, I do bourbon, which is, which is quite a good catch actually. Um, well, well, well done, well done. Uh, it's, it's gin, it's bourbon, or it is rum. Then he sent me some M&Ms, some caramel M&Ms, which we don't get in Malta, some Oreo candy, some this peanut and pretzel Hershey's, never tasted it, looks awesome. And very importantly, Reese's. Mic, testing, one, two, camera, focus, yes. Next is from Ian Bohm. Ian Bohm, let me give me a letter. And Ian wrote, 3DPN, um, I, I, I'm, I understand you meant 3DMN. 3DPN is Joel, uh, but I can see where people get confused, except for the hair, the hair kind of separates us. And, and, 
and the 200 plus thousand subscribers difference. <laughs> I would first like to apologize for the delay in sending this part. My printer is down and my backup printer is missing a set screw. I ended up borrowing my friend's MP Mini V1. Part 86 was printed in Hashbox White PLA using your settings. You did not specify an infill pattern, so I made an executive decision and went with zigzag. And clothes are some of my favorite hard candies direct from Japan via the Western US. Ian. So Ian sent me a self-addressed envelope. Well then, the part, which turned out really good, and the candy. See, so um, now I also have some like say Chinese candy. Like this is awesome. Thank you very much again. Next big box is from Kevin, and this box was, well, it was um, torn almost to shreds by Maltese Customs. Uh, not only Maltese Customs actually, because if you, uh, there. Wait, hold on. Let me go back in time. Seal this up like this. So you have, mm, wait. Malta custom, sorry, Malta Duana. Duana means customs in Malta. and Malta. Then you have sealed under the authority of the Environmental Heart Directorate. <laughs> like, I'm surprised the CAA wasn't a Malta top in this box. <laughs> What's inside? Lots of this. <laughs> so I have a letter which says Joe, and that's Joe's me. Hey Joe, first off, hello from the USA, Kevin here. I've been watching your presentations for a while now and I have to say that of the most popular guys on YouTube today in this area, I enjoy your videos the most. You're the most real and down to earth. Thank you very much, dude. Don't get me wrong, I still love the other guys too. But your presentations, evaluations and explanations about everything in your life with being just an everyday Joe comes through loud and clear. So thank you for bringing such informative pointers and entertainment to the field of 3D printing. Thanks, buddy. Please find enclosed your printed part for the map as well as some goodies. Two third good old fashioned American candy. Ha <laughs> ha. And one from Switzerland. Couldn't resist, it's just too damn good. Take care, Joe, and I look forward to your next bit. Thank you very much, Kevin. So, Kevin sent us good and plenty. He sent up some lint. Lint is awesome, Swiss chocolate. This is like 85% cocoa. So, if, if you're on a diet, um, this is actually really good. It, it, it's not gonna make much difference to me because there's like 150 million calories um, in the kitchen at the moment. So yeah, but just saying. We have the part number 88, which looks absolutely awesome. And we have cinnamon hard candy. And my wife is gonna absolutely love it. Actually, scratch that. Um, my wife already said thank you because I re-recorded this before and you know the story and she saw these and she said thank you very much because she loves cinnamon. This one, which was also opened by Malta Customs or ravaged by Malta Customs, I must say, uh, was sent to me by 3D Maker Kit. Hey Joe, thanks for letting me participate in this project. My name is Bennett, I run the 3D Maker Kit YouTube channel and I am 12. I was introduced to 3D printing almost exactly a year ago I got my first printer, the iMaker Start, in early November of last year. On February 10, 2018, I received my CR10 from Gearbest. In this box, I have placed three Maker coins, Arduino Makes, 3D Printing Kit, uh, 3D PK, and mine. I thought it would also be nice to include the part, as this is what this whole thing is about. Piece number 10 was printed with AIO Robotics, red filament PLA, with the suggested settings. It was printed on my CR10. Do you think that the Ender 3 is a good printer to start a print farm from? Thank you for helping me and this community. I would love to chat with you on a hangout call sometimes. I run the 3D Printing Kids Hangout Group, which consists of 3D PK, Arduino Mix, NJ Printing, Xander from Funking 3D, and me. I would love it if you could check out our channel sometimes. Thanks for being an inspiration. Happy making. Keep on making. So, first question. Ender 3 is good for a print farm. Actually, yes, it is. Uh, it's a reliable machine. It's very good value for money, has a decent build volume. And if you have like, what, $600, five, $600, you can get yourself two or three machines, which can already get you up and running to fulfill larger quantity of orders. It's a reliable machine. So yes, definitely, definitely worth the money to start a 3D printing farm from. As for the Hangout, get in touch with me. Let's talk, I'd love to talk to you guys. So Bennett sent me the part, which is part number 10 in red. We have the 3D Maker Kid Maker Coin, Arduino Mix Maker Coin, and also 3D PK Maker Coin. These are absolutely awesome, so thank you very much, Bennett. Next box is from Aaron Hebert. 
Dear Joe, I appreciate you letting me be a part of this awesome project. I have included in my piece. It was printed on my ANET A8 with Maker Geese Raptor Series PLA HD Vivid Red. I have included a few treats for you and your family to enjoy. Thank you for your awesome channel and all you do for the Maker community. Being a noob myself is great to have people like yourself sharing your knowledge. Aaron Hibbert. Thank you very much, Aaron. It is an absolute pleasure to, well, share pretty much everything, including my failures, such as recording a video of mail unboxing and then just, you know, realizing that the microphone was switched off all the time. So Aris sent us a part, part number 56 in red, which was beautifully printed, I might add, actually. Looks gorgeous. We have some Swedish fish. <laughs> some Sour Patch Kids, which I'm really enjoying. I have another packet of these. Some Junior Minis. And most importantly, some Reese's Miniature Cup. Thank you very much, dude. Next is from Gabriel, and Gabriel is from Hungary. Hey Joe, first of all, thank you so much for the opportunity to take part in your mural project. I'd also like to thank you for all the work you've put in for the community and all the hours and hours of precious information that partly led me to be where I am today in 3D printing. I'm a French guy living in Hungary since the late 80s. I started 3D printing back in 2014 because the software development company I worked for back then had one just for fun, and we could use it as long as we bought our own filament. I 3D printed drones that actually fly ever since. Teach me. <laughs> actually, you know what? First, I need to learn how to fly a drone. Then, then we can go on to other things. <laughs> I worked with a MakerBot Replicator 5th generation there. However, I'm the happy owner of my own 3D printer since a couple of months only. I bought an A8 and started my journey into customizing and upgrading this little printer. This is when I ran into your channel. And although you don't do any Anet videos ever since, I am watching every video you put out there. I like how nice and humble of a person you are. So thank you, dude. <laughs> dude in quotes, this is my thing. Thank you, dude. I still have to install MOSFETs and TL smoothers, but for now, I'm enjoying where I go with it. So I hope the mirror will turn out fine and I'm really proud to have my little piece in there. Thank you. Thank you, dude. <laughs> dude. Also, please find some local chocolate and candy from Hungary. A few words on those, two especially. The bigger box is chocolates that contain plum and plum. Palinka, which is the most popular local vodka-like short drink in Hungary. That would be this. And this brings me to my next thing. So people now want to also get me fat and drunk. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> the other one worth mentioning is the mental and medicinal plants-based Negro. I swear it's not a racist thing. That was the name of the person who invented that. That's also some other bits and bobs in there. I'll look for smaller ones too. Enjoy. Gabriel. Gabriel also sent us part number 131, which is really nice print. It's part of the cross in Gozo. So I think this was the last part remaining for the cross. So I think Gozo is almost complete. We have some Negro candies. And we have this. This in Malta is called Lion. We have this. We have a lion there and then it says Lion and it's absolutely delicious. Some more wafers and some more candy and and we have one lonely, lonely candy there. This will go first, so I'll just, you know, so it doesn't feel lonely anymore. Thank you very much, dude. Last but not least is a package from Joseph Payne. Uh, this was, well, it was kind of like two packages attached in one. Um, and Joseph tells me, hey, Joe, thank you for the opportunity to participate in your mural. And closes part number 32, printed in 3DX Tech Transparent Garnet Max G PEG. Printed on the Prusa Mark III with 200 micron layer heights and variable layer height for the sloping top surfaces. And some treats, as if you didn't have enough already. I really appreciate your honest, unbiased opinion and everything you cover. And your undeniable gratitude towards all your subscribers and Patreons. Well, the truth is that without you guys and without my Patreons, well, I honestly speaking, I couldn't even survive uh, at the moment. Uh, not, not until I find a full-time job. So I, I thank you. I thank you, I appreciate you, and I love you guys. I also enclosed a spool of our custom-made sparkle green ASA from 3DX Tech that we use for the signage and trinkets on our business. I don't know how often you use ASA, but I figured it would be more helpful than a maker coin. All the best in your journey, Joseph Payne. So, ASA, this thing right here. So for those of you who don't know, ASA is a filament that is really good for outdoor use. It can withstand the elements outside. I don't, I've never actually printed with ASA apart from I started last week. I have some ASA, unreleased ASA from a company which I'm testing out, which is why I designed my birdhouse. 
Um, my patrons already have access to those files. And yeah, I, I, it's, it's not easy to print, but the Rays Pro 2 can easily handle it. So yeah, you definitely, uh, having an enclosure will definitely help. So thank you very much, Joe. Joe sent me the part which says Iron Joe 13 USA part 32. And this red is absolutely gorgeous. Apart from that, it's printed beautifully, um, but the color, the sheen, it, it's got this kind of like burgundy reddish wine look to it. It's, it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Joseph also sent us some hot tamales, fair cinnamon. Also, thank you from my wife. <laughs> plus some Red Hot's cinnamon flavor candy. Also a big thank you from my wife. <laughs> so that was it. It just occurred to me that um, since the first time I checked the microphone, I didn't check it again. I didn't check anything again, whether the camera was ringing. So this happens. I kind of get into the swing of things and it just, I, I get carried away. So for those of you who stayed till now, thank you, first of all. And secondly, I want to give you a bit of a sneak peek. A um, few years back, I used to do modeling. Uh, wait, hold on. Not modeling. I used to do scale models. I used to, uh, I still have a bunch of them which are still closed in boxes. I have an airbrush set, uh, two airbrushes, a compressor, lots of paint. And last week I decided to bring everything out of storage. I haven't done, I haven't used them in about five years. And I decided to grab the Watchtower by Kijai or Kiai from Thingiverse, which I had printed on the Anacubic Chiron. Print turned out beautiful. And I thought to myself, I'm gonna use it as a test print. The result is this. And I, I am really, really happy with how this turned out. It all came back to me of how relaxing it is to stay painting and quiet and listening to music and doing weathering effects and, I have so many things that I can do. And now that 3D printing is in my life, um, putting these two together seems just like the right recipe. So in a couple of days, possibly a week, I'm gonna do my first video on how I do something like this. It won't be in too much detail, but you'll see me paint, well, also another model from Kijai, which is this lighthouse right here. Depending on how popular that video is, well, then we can possibly do a series of weathering, how to put grass and rocks and pigments so you can get the dust effect on things. And yeah, I've really, really enjoyed this. So I, 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 I'm really looking forward to this and I hope you guys are too. But for now, that is it again for, for the second time today. Um, I, I, once again, I'm sorry. Uh, it's, it's just been a bit of a tough week for the past week. My head hasn't been in the right place. Lots of personal things going on, which I'm trying to deal with, I'm dealing with. Um, so yeah, mistakes happen. But yeah, I, th I think I made up for it today. I've recorded this twice. That's it for today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you want a sticker or a Magigoo sample, just send me a self-addressed envelope. PO box address in the video descriptions. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and as always, happy making guys or dudes. Happy making dudes. Dudes. No, because then there's the dead side. Happy making guys.